Aloha Wayfinders! I am Moana of Motunui. And this is Miles of the mainland. He's new here. Now I know you guys have probably seen the movie, but have you read the book? Little hint, it's the same story. However, Mr. Miles of the mainland has never seen it. So we're gonna have a little story time and he's going to probably not pay attention, but that's okay. Now, for all of you wayfinders out there, what island is this? Hmm. I'll give you a hint. I said it in my opening. This is the island of Motunui, where my family is from. And this is my grandmother. She's a little crazy, but we like her. And she used to tell us these scary stories all the time. The children of the village sat spellbound as Grandma Tala continued her story. Maui tried to escape, she said, but he was confronted by Te Ka, a demon of earth and fire. Yeah, the other little kids were kind of scared because my grandma's a little intense, but I found it fascinating. Look at that, Miles. That's me as a baby. And so basically the ocean chose me to deliver the heart of Tefiti, which I didn't know what that was at the time, but it ended up being really, really important. Isn't that right? Except my dad was not a big fan of the ocean because he thought it was dangerous and he didn't want me to get hurt. Turns out we used to be wayfinders. That's right. Our family used to wayfind out on the crazy depths of the ocean. But then there was a really bad accident and one of my father's best friends got really, really hurt. So I kind of understand why he was so worried about me going out on the water. But of course, I didn't listen. You see, my grandma told me that it was very, very important to follow my heart. And my heart was telling me that something amazing was out there past the coral reef. And if we could just go past the coral reef, we might be able to find more food and our island would be successful again. So that's what I did. I wasn't very successful at first. I had a few boat crashes, but finally I made it to a little island where I met, that's right, Maui. Now, Maui was not very nice at first. As a matter of fact, he trapped me in a cave and stole my boat. Do people do that on the mainland? I don't understand. But guess what? The ocean was on my side. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Hei Hei was there too. Well, after I got Maui to agree to help me, we battled evil coconuts who were after, you guessed it, the heart of Te Fiti. But guess who saved the day? That's right, Mr. Hei Hei. He, well, he swallowed the heart of Te Fiti because he likes to swallow rocks and sticks and other non-edible things. But it's a good thing he did because it made it very difficult for the Kakamora to come after us. Well, I kind of take that back. They were able to get a few poisonous darts out toward us. I didn't get hit, but uh, Maui did. So he was kind of stuck for a little while in that position, but he was able to teach me how to wayfind. Oh, I know, isn't that funny? <laughs> now Maui keeps going on and on about his magic hook and he can't do anything without his magic hook. So we go all the way down to the depths of the ocean and we meet Mr. Eagle Crab. Does anyone remember his name? <laughs> his name is Tamatoa, and he likes anything that's shiny. So what do you think he was after? That's right, the heart of Tefiti. Well, he wanted to exchange the heart of Tefiti for Maui's hook, which doesn't really sound like a good trade-off to me. So what I did, I found a rock, a very shiny rock that looked exactly like the heart of Tefiti, and I gave it to him and I tricked him into giving me the magic hook. What's wrong, Miles? You don't like the crab, do you? Miles does not like Tamatoa. But the good thing is we were able to trick him successfully and we got Maui's magic hook back. So now he can finally shape shift. Does anyone remember which animal Maui shapeshifted into in order to fight Teka? I'll give you a hint. It has wings and it can fly, unlike Hei Hei. That's right, 
he turned into a hawk. But guess what? The evil fire monster was too strong for Maui and his magic hook was completely broken. Isn't that terrible? Maui was very discouraged and he gave up and told me that he couldn't help me anymore. Well, not completely by myself because somebody showed up to help me. Who do you think it was? My Grandma Tala. And Grandma Tala told me that all the help I needed was right in here. And I just needed to be brave enough to face the monster by myself, which I did. And guess what? Maui came back to help. And what do you think he said? You're welcome. Guess what? It turns out that this evil fire monster was just a really, really sad person who had something taken from her. So when I returned the heart of Te Fiti, the beautiful island returned to its beautiful, luscious state. And Te Fiti was no longer angry anymore. Maui was a hero for saving the island of Motunui and for restoring Te Fiti back to her original state. Look how proud he is. <laughs> and I, on the other hand, became a master wayfinder. And the island of Motunui was never fearful of the waters again. Uh, I know. Isn't that a happy ending? I think Miles approves. <laughs> and this is our beautiful island. One more time. It's one of my favorite pictures. Well, that's it for our story time today. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there over on the mainland. Be very careful. Keep washing your hands. And hopefully I can see you on my island someday. The ocean and the people of Motunui would certainly welcome you.